Uh, Colin, thank you very much indeed, and good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you for uh, inviting me along to this uh, exciting outing for Chain, all the way down from Manchester to London. I think it's a really exciting initiative, bringing uh, the institutions together under one roof to demonstrate the, the range and depth of opportunities that exist uh, in engineering and to demonstrate what the future of engineering might hold. Now, I understand that the, the theme this evening is uh, inspirational young members. And from looking at the lineup uh, that I've seen, I think you're in for a bit of a treat this evening. So, why am I here? Well, um, as you may know, 2018 is an exciting year for engineering. It is the government's year of engineering. And I have the privilege of being the government's envoy for the year of engineering. And a job that sees me uh, running around the country, running around London, running around events, waving the flag for engineering and trying to uh, engage with a community outside of the engineering sector to show them what engineering holds. Now, as I said, I jumped at that opportunity. I spent my working life in the printing industry. Uh, an industry that was completely transformed by, in the 25 years that I've worked in it, by both innovation and engineering. We moved from an analog uh, apprenticed trade through to a professionalized, digitized uh, sector, always trying to embrace the most modern, up to date, in our case, data technology to use it to the benefit of our clients. But it was engineers. Uh, that did that. But I'm also uh, a passionate advocate for STEM, and particularly, I think, the E in STEM, which sometimes gets overlooked. Um, and that's why I think the Year of Engineering gives a huge opportunity uh, to showcase uh, the world and wonder of engineering in all its guises. Uh, and that's why it's such a fun job to do. Now, there are three specific aims for the year of engineering. The first is to change perceptions of what it is to be an engineer in the 21st century. Unfortunately, still too many people do not understand what engineering is. They still think of it as someone in a hard hat, a high-vis jacket and a tall belt. And while that does have a significant and important role to play, that does no, by no means cover the range of opportunities. And so our target audience of 7 to 16-year-olds, we're trying to reach out to them, to their parents, to their teachers, to their influencers, and get them to take a closer look at what engineering actually is in the 21st century. The second thing is to put young people in direct contact with inspirational engineers to create uh, that interaction and to help inspire that future enthusiasm for engineering. And the third aim is to inspire more people to see themselves as engineers and consider entering the profession. As you well know, the UK has a, a rich engineering heritage, and one that we should all rightly be proud of, but it does face some particular challenges. Industry tells us every year they need 160,000, 168,000 engineers, and yet every year we fall short by 20,000. It is a sector that, taken as a whole, is predominantly white, it's predominantly male, and unfortunately it's predominantly aging. And that's got to change, because we are missing out. We are missing out on a whole range of talent. And so one of the key messages, in addition to our three aims, that we are trying to get across is that engineering is open to all, regardless of background, regardless of gender, and regardless of ethnicity. And why is this important? Because the engineering sector to the UK is vital. It contributes 486 billion pounds to our economy. It's helping deliver the government's industrial strategy and to raise productivity. So, our message is there has never been a better time for a young person to consider becoming an engineer. And that's why industry, government, 
Uh, the voluntary sector, the learned societies, academia have all come together under this banner of the Year of Engineering. It's a very exciting sector. You know that. You're involved. It's dynamic. It's creative. It's rewarding both financially and for yourself, knowing that you're making a contribution to the world around you. But it's also vital to being able to deliver the government's uh, infrastructure plans. Demands for engineers, both nationally and globally, has never been higher. From, whether that's from building roads, modernising our rail, providing clean water, uh, working out how we can feed an ever-growing world population, or tackling the impact of climate change. These are solutions that will come from creative and imaginative engineers. But it's also key to cybersecurity, to healthcare, to our connectivity, to our entertainment industry, even to creating the spaceports that we have now legislated for to make the UK an exciting space hub. And you don't need reminding, because you know this, but everything we touch or interact with is engineered in some way, and an engineer is responsible for it. So, the year of engineering is about inspiring that next generation and filling that talent pipeline. So how are we doing that? We're doing it in a number of ways. Uh, we have joined with over 1,400 partners, and as I said, that will include key institutions, uh, such as the Institution of Mechanical Engineers, uh, it, but it also includes business. We're working with the likes of Shell and Lego and FIFA and Apple to actually bring industry along this journey as well. And one of the things that I get the privilege to do is to chair the Stakeholder Engagement Board, which sees all those people around the same table all talking about the importance of engineering and how we can make sure that we work together to bridge the gap that we undoubtedly have. I often describe engineering as um, a hidden gem in the UK. Too often, engineering is taking place behind a grey door, on a grey building, on a grey industrial estate, on a grey day, on a grey street, and yet you throw open the doors and there is an Aladdin's cave of innovation and creativity going on behind that door. And I want to bring that creativity and innovation out from those grey buildings and back into contact with the people who will fill that talent pipeline. My own contribution to that over the summer was I held an engineering showcase in my constituency in Basildon, which saw engineering firms in the town centre, in the shopping centre on a Saturday afternoon, interacting with the public, particularly young children, in an interactive way, and hopefully getting them so excited about engineering. So there is a lot of things going on to excite people. And we're now moving towards the end of the year of engineering. It's been a great year. Uh, we are meeting our targets. We've reached almost 750,000 direct interactions between young people and uh, inspiring engineers. Uh, we have seen some improvement in the numbers who would consider themselves being an engineer in the future and in the way that their parents, uh, teachers, influencers see engineering. Uh, those figures will become available as we reach the end. And we've now started to talk about what the legacy of the year of engineering is. How we build on all the fantastic things that have been going on over the last year. And I, one of the things that I have been most warmed by over the last year is the way the sector has come together. Perhaps at the beginning of the year there was goodwill, but each individual organisation had its own ideas, its own projects its own uh, particular areas that it wanted to focus on. But as we've reached the end of the year, there is a real desire for collaboration and working together to make sure that we get the widest possible reach and that we're actually all pulling in the same direction because we all understand the same problem. So as we move from the year of engineering, I hope we will move from the year of engineering into the era of the engineer and that the good work that's taken place will continue. Whether I have a role in that or not is yet to be decided, but I do hope that the good work of bringing everyone together continues, because we know engineering will have a very important part to play in the future, and to continue to prosper and to t continue to serve mankind in the way engineering has, we need engineers to come forward. So together, we can go out and inspire that next generation. You particularly, as young engineers and early in your career, have a unique opportunity to do that because you can connect much better than perhaps I or Colin can.
So please see this as a, a shared problem. Thank you for all you're doing. Thank you for inviting me to uh, share some thoughts with you. Uh, and I'm very much looking forward to hearing what our uh, young, inspirational speakers have to say. So thank you again, and uh, enjoy this evening.